Hi everyone and welcome to Mbok Home Baking. I'm Jessica Ting from Miss Shortcakes and today I'm going to show you my classic recipe for tiramisu. Okay, so the first step that we need to do is to make the coffee mixture. Um, I've got hot water here and I've also got my instant coffee ready. And I'm just going to pour that directly into my hot water. Stir it to dissolve it. And that's it. And the next step that we have to do is to separate our eggs. And how I like to separate my eggs is by using my hand as a sieve. So very easy, we're going to crack the whole egg into a bowl. And I'm just going to go in with my clean hands, shake out the excess egg white and pop that in. There you go. Perfect egg yolk. And now with our egg yolks, I'm going to start whisking them up until it's nice and thick. And it's also changed colour slightly. So this is what you're looking for. Okay, so that's done. Okay, so for my tiramisu, I like using Mbok mascarpone cheese because of its creamy and delicious texture. Okay, so we're going to fold that into our egg yolks now. I'll do half first and then I'll whisk in the other half. Okay, one final whisk through and it should be done. So we'll set that aside now and we're going to start whisking our whipping cream. So as you can see, my bowl is nicely frozen and so is my whisk. And this will make sure that your cream whips up really nice and firm and becomes a stiff peak. So that's what you want. Okay, for this, I'm using Mbok whipping cream and I'm going to use the whole carton. Okay, so now we're going to start whipping up the cream before we add in the sugar. We want the cream to whip up to about half of the volume before the sugar goes in. So we're almost there. It's starting to thicken up and starting to froth up. I'm going to add in the sugar in gradually. Okay, we're going to go full speed ahead. We're almost there. And that's it. I'm going to switch off the machine now. And the cream is ready to use. So the one way to check how your cream is done is that you can dip your whisk in and it holds its peak. We're going to fold in about half of the cream into the mascarpone. Okay. So you want to do a folding action now. You don't want to whisk it too rigorously. And then finally, we're going to add in the rest of the cream. Easy peasy. It's done. Okay, so the next stage is to build our tiramisu. I have a dish here and I have my cool down coffee mixture, which I'm just going to pour this directly into. And then I have another dish, which is what I'm going to serve my tiramisu in. So what we need to do is we need to dip our finger biscuits into the coffee mix very quickly, just a quick dunk and arrange it into our dish. Okay, we want to make sure that the whole bottom layer is covered with our biscuits. When you get to the corner, like what I have here, I'm just going to break the biscuit up just like that so that it fits in nice and snug. Okay, so we've got the first layer of finger biscuits down. We're going to use half of our mascarpone mixture now to layer. Okay, we're going to start the layering process. I'm just going to eyeball it. Then we're going to level it out with a spatula. And we're going to repeat. Okay, so now we'll just level out the top. This will be your presentation top, so you want it to be quite level and flat. And that's it. All done. So now we just have to put it into the fridge for at least four to five hours or even better overnight. Okay, now we have the tiramisu that's been in the fridge for about four to five hours and we're ready to finish it off with some cocoa powder. So you can use any cocoa powder and then we're just going to lightly dust the top. Doesn't it look beautiful? And make sure that you've covered the full surface. I hope you will give this recipe a try at home. As you can see, it was super easy. Whenever I have friends over, it's the perfect dessert. Find the full recipe online, give it a go, and happy baking.